and welcome back to my Q&A series. I ask people on my Instagram if they have any questions about posture or movement or pain um, and I do my best to answer their question via these sort of 10 minute videos. The question that we've got today is if you must work at a desk, is it better to use a sitting desk or a standing desk. So I'm sure, as many of you know, standing desks have become increasingly more common in the last few years. Um, and I do think on balance that a standing desk is more productive for your body than a sitting desk. But there are, as ever, a whole bunch of caveats to that because it's more complicated than just a blanket answer saying that one is better than the other. So firstly, I will talk about the positives of a standing desk, 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 but then I'll talk about the negatives of a standing desk. And then I'll finish with some tips and tricks of things I think you should be doing throughout the working day if you must be locked and chained at a desk as so many of us are. I used to be, obviously not anymore. So the positives of a standing desk is that when you are standing, in general, your body is working harder than when you are sitting. So it is possible to sit in a really active way where, you know, the muscles of your hips and your back and your shoulders and everything are sort of working to maintain this sort of upright posture. But for most people, it's almost impossible to maintain that throughout the day. And they find themselves sort of slumping and hunching over. And what happens is that they are subcontracting the work that should be happening within their body and at their muscles into the chair. So their body's kind of like just melting into the chair and they're just getting weaker and weaker and sort of more and more enclosed in themselves. When you are standing, you cannot subcontract work into something else. So you are using your legs, you're using your feet, you're using your glutes, you're using your back, uh, etc., which is a good thing. And I think just being standing, being stood up, encourages more movement. So when you are sat down and comfortable, you kind of, as I said, you sort of melt into that chair and you don't want to get up. It's an effort to get up and down and leave your desk. But when you're standing, you're already prepped to go. It's going to be easier to pop to the kitchen to get some water or a cup of tea. You're going to be more inclined to like take a phone call standing up and perhaps pace around a little bit, which is also going to be really good for your body. So I do think that being stood up is good because Directly, your muscles are going to be working harder in most cases. Secondly, you're going to be more encouraged to move throughout the day. And thirdly, it's generally better for the human body to be stood up for the other systems within the body. So we're not just talking about movement here, we're talking about every single system within the body. They are all interrelated. They all need to talk to one another uh, to be able to work most effectively. So if you're stood up, you're probably going to be able to breathe better. You're probably be, gonna be able to think more clearly. Again, that kind of comes back to that upright posture and the breathing. If you're stood up, you're probably going to be like digesting your food a little bit better. All these kind of things, it might not seem like they're going to make a big difference to how you feel during the day, but they really do. So there are lots of benefits to standing at a desk with a standing desk. The negatives. Firstly, there is no band-aid solution to a movement problem. Human bodies, this is the truth of the matter, you might not want to hear it, but it is the truth of the matter. Human bodies are not designed to stay still for multiple hours of the day, be it in any position. So sitting inherently isn't bad, but the problem with sitting is that all of us pretty much have sat too much since we were young children, and that has become a problem. And the same as with standing, you cannot healthily stand still for eight to 10 hours of the day. I have to say that, and I know it's not what people want to hear, but it is the truth. A standing desk doesn't replace your body's need for almost constant movement. And when I say almost constant movement, we aren't talking about really hardcore workouts and stuff like that. It's just like a little bit of muscular stimulus, you know, be it the movement of your ankle or the movement of your hip or the movement of your arm. That type of stuff is just, we need to be thinking about that. So I have to say that we cannot rely on any gimmicky product to give us the the movement that our body needs. You cannot answer a movement problem with something that you can buy. You can only answer a movement problem through moving more. Um, so I have to say that. 
The second thing about standing desks is that they rely on a certain degree of muscular function in order for you to feel good when you are standing up. So I have plenty of clients who feel worse standing up than they do sat down and that's for different reasons, uh, different things that are going on uh, with their posture and with their body. But if you can't stand up without your lower back hurting or your knee hurting or your foot hurting or whatever it might be, standing up for hours of the day probably isn't gonna be the answer to the question either. You're just gonna feel worse and more sore by the end of the day because your body isn't functional enough to stand up well. And it might seem ridiculous to say that because standing up seems like it should be one of the easiest things for the human body to do but it is reliant on the hips to be able to extend. It's reliant on the feet to be able to dorsiflex. It's reliant on the lower back to be able to extend. It's reliant on the thoracic spine to be able to extend. There's lots of things that are going on which are typically some of the most dysfunctional areas within a westernized human body. And if the body can't do that, standing's gonna be really uncomfortable for them. So for those people, a standing desk really isn't the answer because you can't just chuck people in at the deep end and expect their bodies to be able to cope. Their body might feel worse. The answer for those people, as a side note, is that they need to do rehabilitation work on the side, in their spare time, after work, before work, during work, you know, there's exercises that you can do and I'll come to that at the end, in order to improve the various bits and pieces within their body that lack the function to keep them standing up comfortably. The third thing I have to say about standing desks as a kind of negative is you really, really have to consider the footwear uh, that you are wearing. So if you are wearing shoes that are slightly higher at the back, so you might not think that you're wearing heels, but most kind of work shoes are to a certain degree heel. They might not be stilettos, but they're still higher at the back than they are at the front. What this is doing is putting your foot into a constant state of what we call plantar flexion. And what this does is it creates tightness up the calves and up the hamstrings and for lots of people can create a sort of lumbar lower back hyperextension, so excessive curvature of the lower back, which can create extra tension there. So if you're looking to stand up all day, but refuse to change the footwear that you wear, you might find yourselves actually with more pain because you're putting more and more load through that lower back and through your legs and other places because of the shoes that you're wearing. So if you are considering having a standing desk, then please do consider looking at your feet and what they are doing. Because if your feet are constantly angled downwards because of the shoes that you're wearing, then you may find yourself with more pain because of the fact that you are standing for longer periods of time with this footwear that's putting your body in a kind of uncomfortable uh, position through the legs, through the hips and through the pelvis and through the spine. Um, and I often get people that will sort of say like sassy things like, well, if I can't wear my heels, what shall I wear? And the answer is, look at barefoot shoe brands um, or look at shoes that don't have heels and you will find uh, that there are not that many kind of high, high street brands that are not heeled at all. Most shoes are heeled, unfortunately, and sort of pointed. Uh, I've done other videos on footwear, I won't go into it too much, but uh, do have a look at barefoot shoe brands because they are becoming firstly more popular and there are more options out there and they are moving away from simply just doing kind of trainers and walking boot things to a more formal shoe that is appropriate to wear uh, for work. So do consider your footwear if you are going to get a standing desk. Lastly, this person's question was, um, what are some different movements you can do during the day at the office? And what I'll say to that is on my YouTube, there is a playlist called, I think it's Office Movement Ideas. And if it's not currently called that, I'll rename it so that it is Office Movement Ideas. And I have loads of stuff in there that you can do whilst you're sat down. And there is plenty of stuff that you can do whilst you're sat down um, and other things that you can do when you're standing up that may, won't make you look too crazy and are a little bit more subtle so that people in the office won't think that you're absolutely mad. But the overall thing that I want people to take away from this video is firstly that no chair, no desk, no prop for your keyboard or anything like that will solve your problem because it's a movement problem and that can't be solved with gimmicks. But there is plenty that you can do during the day to make your body work better. Consider your shoes. 
have a standing desk and use that standing desk as a kind of platform to move around a little bit more but do bear in mind that standing desks may make you feel worse if there's some other things that are going on that need to get resolved first and the best thing that you can do really is that kind of trick that you may have may or may not have heard about which is looking to take regular breaks every five minutes or so every 10 minutes or so but you have a 20 second movement break just do something but you can have five minutes and then you have a 20 second break and you're moving your shoulders around like this or you're standing up and you're stretching your calf or just something it's these constant little nitpicky movement breaks throughout the day that will do your body so much more good than thinking oh it's okay i've got a standing desk now so i don't have to worry about doing anything else that's absolutely the not right not the right attitude to have standing desks can be a really useful tool to springboard you onto more movement but they don't give you that movement so we have to be thinking about moving each and every joint in our body on a regular basis to maintain the best muscular function that we can and that really is the answer to the problem so i hope you found that helpful and i'll see you soon bye